Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Today we're going to do a little something different. We're going to do a kind of a question and answer, but not really. We're going to take a look at a lot of the comments that I've gotten over time, comments that are questions, and I'm going to try to answer them for you guys. We're going to divide it up into two different sections. One is questions that are a little bit, I don't know, off-putting, and we'll answer them a little bit mm, snarky. You might even say smart. The other side is comments and questions that I think are pretty reasonable and we're going to answer them the best we can for you guys. So stay tuned, it's time for a Paleo Hiker MD Frequently Asked Questions. Thanks for watching guys. Mm. Community coffee out of a Bucky's tumbler best way to enjoy your coffee in the morning. So do you actually use your equipment? It looks brand new. You know what, I don't actually. I, I'm a master at Photoshop and video editing and I'm able to video edit used gear into all of my videos and keep all of mine pristine. Look, the truth is I take good care of my equipment. I wash it pretty much every time I use it. I'm not afraid to get soap after it and make it look as nice as it can because I want it to last a long time. Also, a lot of times when your gear is dirty, it just stinks. So I pretty much clean up the best I can. I also have a lot of gear. I do a lot of testing, so I don't use all the gear all the time. So yeah, I use it. You see me use it. A lot of your videos, like, like this one, for example, are inside. Why don't you get outside more? Well, if you've never lived in Louisiana where it's, uh, you know, 150% humidity and 80 degrees feels like 110, don't ask any questions. During the hot times of the year, I simply just stay inside most of the time. I try to get out. If I can get out, it'll be early morning, sunrise, and I gotta be back home by like nine o'clock or else I'm sweating buckets and it's no fun. And I'm definitely not going overnight camping in extreme heat. What, no, no blank insert piece of gear here in this kit? No, if it's not in my video, it's not in my kit. Don't you have too much gear? Haven't you died using alcohol stoves yet? I'd say no. Realize guys, I have ventilation going every time that I have alcohol stoves going inside. I've found that when you use certain types of alcohol, like heat, they don't produce nearly the noxious fumes that others do. Uh, the worst to me is actually the clean, burning, denatured alcohol. It is brutal. So just have good ventilation going and you'll be fine. If you're so pro-USA and pro-made in America, why do you review Chinese products? Well, the truth is, is a lot of people want to know about these Chinese products, and I'm trying to create a YouTube channel where I produce content that's helpful for everybody. Now, a lot of United States made gear is a little more expensive, so it's going to be less accessible to a lot of people. I think it's reasonable to look at all the types of gear that you can use. Sometimes I look at cheaper made gear and point out that it's cheaply made and you should buy something that's maybe made in America or another country. But sometimes some of the cheaper gear works just fine and I think it's reasonable to take a look at it. People are going to buy it anyway, so let's take a good look at it and see if it works. All the gear you have is way too expensive. We can't afford any of this stuff. Definitely I have a lot of expensive gear, no question whatsoever. It took a long time in my life before I could afford the expensive gear. And I also liked using a lot of budget gear and I do try to focus on that here on the channel. So I hope there's somewhat of a mix between budget gear and the expensive gear. You drink too much coffee. Isn't it bad for you? You know, there's a lot of studies showing coffee is actually very good for you. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that it is, but I don't think it's necessarily bad for you. And if you're one of those people that's going out pounding Taco Bell and McDonald's all day long, don't talk to me about my coffee. But real coffee's black. You use too much heavy cream. Look, it's my coffee. I can, I can do whatever I want with it. Shouldn't you know better as a doctor getting dehydrated on the trail? You need to stay hydrated. Yeah, I should know better. Thanks. You're a sellout. You're biased, all this stuff. I really don't know what that means. I'm certainly not a sellout. If I'm given gear to review, I'm very specific and tell you guys that I'm given gear to review it and I'm very honest about it. Truth is a lot of this gear is pretty good and you can choose to look at the negative, you can choose to look at the positive. I'm not gonna look at the negative just to be one of those YouTubers that finds negative in everything. I think it's, it's important to be reasonable when you're looking at gear. Uh, a lot of times gear fails because people aren't very nice to it. They abuse it and it fails and you can abuse super expensive gear and it will fail. 
I don't think I'm sell out. I don't think I'm biased if you think I am. There's a lot of channels out there. You can buy fat wood in a store. Why collect it? I see you eat non-paleo stuff on your channel. What's up with that? Look, I'm not paleo all the time. I try to be as much as I can, but I also live my life. And I enjoy my life, so I try to stick to 80-20 for the most part, and I'm pretty happy with that. And my absolute favorite, you must orchestrate or cook the books, as you might say, on all these stove videos. I'm just not buying all of your results. I don't know what to tell you guys, but uh, I'm really not creating a draft or causing all kinds of mayhem. With Look, I have no reason to make any uh, manipulation to these tests. I don't have any financial responsibility to any stove manufacturers. I have no reason to favor one or the other. I'm just uh, boiling water. I'm showing you guys what happens. I could have picked a lot more questions and snarky comments, but we stuck to the main ones. Let's talk a little bit more about some basics that I think are a little more reasonable to ask. Definitely the number one comment I get is, are you a real doctor? And if you are, what kind of medicine do you practice? I am in fact a real doctor. I did not stay at a Holiday Inn. I didn't stay at a Holiday Inn Express last night. I did recently, but, but not last night. I practice internal medicine in central Louisiana, primary care. I also am specialized in sleep medicine. It's about 50-50 now. I do about 50% primary care and 50% uh, sleep medicine. We still go to the hospital. I spend my mornings, uh, early mornings in the hospital and spend the rest of the day in the office. So uh, yeah, very busy life, but I love it very much. Where do you live? Where were you born, etc. Uh, I live in central Louisiana and I was born in Puerto Rico. I'm, uh, my, both my parents were Puerto Rican and I was born there. I, I moved when I was very young, uh, less than six months to Texas and uh, then moved to Louisiana when I was about three and a half years old and I really grew up here. So I consider myself a Louisianan, but I am Puerto Rican by heritage. Have you always been into the outdoors? Is this something new? You know, as a kid, I was outside a lot. My house, behind our house, we had some woods. It wasn't woods, it was just a wooded lot, but to me, it felt like the woods. And I uh, spent a lot of time out there uh, chopping things down, um, shooting my share of birds, things I probably shouldn't have done back then, but I did them, and uh, had a lot of fun. Then when I got into medicine, obviously in school, I didn't spend a lot of time outside. I really didn't get back out until much farther once I moved back to Louisiana after training. And in the last, I would say, 10 years, I've gotten a lot more into the outdoors. And after a couple of years of doing that, I decided to start this YouTube channel. I haven't taken any courses, bushcraft courses. I've just gone to the school of YouTube. Do you still own your RV? We don't. We do not own our RV anymore. We had it for a couple of years. We enjoyed it. Uh, the kids got to where they didn't enjoy staying in it very much. And if the kids didn't enjoy staying in it very much, we're not going to keep it. So we decided we'd try to sell it. We put it on eBay, and about four days later, we had a guy from Texas come pick it up. Pretty good deal. What camera do you use to make your films? Interesting, I have, uh, I just filmed yesterday a full video on all my camera equipment. The main camera I use is the Panasonic Lumix G7, and just stay tuned because that video is going to be live, or it's already live. If it's already live, I'll leave a link down below, but I have a detail of all the video equipment and audio equipment that I use. Why don't you go on longer hikes? Well. To be honest with you, it's mainly time related. Um, I don't have a lot of time, and if I can sneak away for one night, it works really well. I'm sure that I'll get into longer based camping sessions later once I retire and stuff, but for now, it's one or two nighters, and I'm, I'm really happy to do it that way. Do I prefer tent or hammock camping? Honestly, it depends. Uh, I, it just depends on my mood. I probably tend to prefer hammock camping uh, more than tent camping, but, um, I like to mix it up. Do you sleep well in the woods? Honestly, I really don't often sleep well in the woods. I, I hear a lot of things, first and foremost, so I'm constantly hearing things. I've gotten past that by wearing earplugs a lot of times, believe it or not, when I'm sleeping out in the woods. But more than anything, I just have a hard time shutting my brain down. I'm constantly thinking about what I need to do the next day, the plan, the route, and it's hard for me to shut down. But once I get to sleep, I sleep like a log. Do you suffer with blisters on the trail? I have a video specifically about the use of a product called Leukotape, and I have not had a blister on the trail since starting to use Leukotape. I use this all the time when we go on vacation. I bring it, I put it on my kids' feet, my wife's feet, make sure that none of us get blisters. It works perfectly every time, at least so far. I also use Danner boots. I keep them pretty up to date. If you use old shoes and your feet slide around in there, 
like they're doing the twist, you're going to get some blisters. Any good outdoor survival books, etc., that you recommend? Yes, there are several. And believe it or not, later today I'm going to be shooting a video about that, so it'll be out soon. Checking out books about survival, checking out books about uh, outdoors, some great kind of more fiction based stuff that has to do with the outdoors. And I think you guys will like what I recommend, so stay tuned for that. Very common question why don't I use trekking poles? Well, see, here's the thing I, I do this little thing called shoot videos, and it's hard to carry two trekking poles and a camera because all the time when I'm walking, I'm looking for shots, I'm trying to take pictures, um, and it's hard to do with a trekking pole. I do at times use my um, tripod extended as a trekking pole. It's not the same thing. Yes, trekking poles would help, but it's just hard for me to do. I probably should bring some with me and put my camera away for more difficult like downhill sections, but I hate carrying the extra weight. Lastly, and I very commonly get asked, what are some of my favorite YouTube channels? What am I watching right now? I'm just gonna give you guys kind of a list of stuff that I watch. It has to do with a lot of different things. Uh, I love uh, DIY stuff, making stuff. I like travel channels. I really like things that are creative and inventive. First off, a guy named Mav. He does a lot of traveling out of the back of his truck. Um, he used to be a cameraman for one of the Guggen Squad and he has a pretty cool channel. I've also been watching a lot of a gentleman named Justin Barber, Bar Justin Barbour, I'm not sure, he's from Newfoundland. If you've never watched his videos, make sure you check him out. He does a lot of traveling with his dog named Saku, and they do these epic multi-week trips, and he films it, and it's awesome. If you check out one channel, check out a channel called Marlon Bates. Uh, this is a guy, he makes handmade fishing baits, and he does a lot of what we call, uh, he calls one day challenges one day and he basically makes a bait shapes it paints it and goes out and catches a fish with it in one day check out marlon baits i also like machining stuff like that there's a channel called this old tony i think that if you like anything interesting and funny his videography and his comments are awesome this old tony's great along the same lines there's a, there's one called fuzzy dice projects he does awesome car videos if you like to watch people fix up cars, check out Fuzzy Dice. A couple different woodworking channels that I like. One is William Walker Company. He is awesome. Uh, another is Frank Howarth. Frank is from Oregon. He has an amazing wood shop and he does amazing videos. Awesome videography. If you want to watch one, just watch when he uh, wood turns the Death Star. Relatively new channel is Alexander Chappelle. I think he's from somewhere in Scandinavia, and he's going to be the next big YouTube star. Um, he doesn't have 100,000 subscribers yet, but he will probably now, and he's going to be a big star. Couple more, one is Hand Tool Rescue. He takes old hand tools, old uh, machines, and he fixes them up. There's a lot of those channels out there. Blackbeard Projects is another one, but I love Hand Tool Rescue. From the standpoint of fishing, my favorite fishing channel is Lake Fork guy, go check him out. His name's Justin Rackley. He's um, just an amazing dude and a very good fisherman. He is part of the Guggen Squad, which some people like, some people don't, but I love his channel. And the last one I'll talk about is my latest binge watching. It is a blacksmith channel out of Scandinavia. I'm gonna spell the name for you. T-O-R-B-J-O-R-N. Last name is A-H-M-A-N. I'll put it up at the top here. Awesome, awesome. Uh, blacksmithing channel. He does all kinds of stuff, gardening as well, but I just think it's such a good channel. All right, guys, that's a wrap to, maybe we'll call it the first Frequently Asked Questions video here. Maybe next year, a couple years, I'll put together another one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I, I love getting to know the people that I watch on YouTube, and I think that's one of the coolest parts about YouTube is that you feel like you get to know people. So I hope this helps everyone get to know me a little bit better. If you like the video, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up down below. It does help spread things quite a bit across YouTube. If you're not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscription button. I know that a lot of people that watch my videos aren't subscribed, so go click that subscription button. And uh, if you wanna make sure you never miss any videos, hit the ding dong bell. You'll be the first to know. As always, guys, I really appreciate all the support. Hope you liked the video. Stay tuned for more here on Paleo Hiker MD.